Welcome back to Site Tech Inter Mountain. I've done a lot of videos recently on SiteWorks and Earthworks, and I've done a couple others on um, paving. I want to actually switch our attention to SPS 930 total stations. Um, I get a lot of questions on proper gun setup, proper site setup, how to create control points, um, how to set the, the total station up properly, and also how to use it as machine control. So in this, what I'm going to call kind of series, I'm going to do many, many different videos to try to break it down. Um, instead of just having one long video that um, is just exhausting and covering everything. So in other videos after this, I'm going to go over exactly how to set the total station up properly, either doing an arbitrary using control points that I have out here or doing over a known point under the total station. Um, but what I want to start out with is a job site scenario where you actually need to use a total station, your calibration control points that you used for the GPS may not be in an area that you actually have control points. They may be spread out on roads, out on the corners of the projects, but you need to set a total station up in an area that you actually can just arbitrarily set it up and go to work. So we need to create control points. In this video, what I wanna do is show you how to take your GPS rover and go and put new control points wherever you need them based on you know the need of the total station setup. What I want to show you right now is once you have a job site calibration done with your GPS receiver, before you set your total station up, we need to go in and measure in some of those control points and create new ones. I'm not going to do any digital leveling on any of them today, so we're just going to take a long shot and let it get it as good of an elevation as we can. Okay, now that you've got your rover set up, you're on the job site and you're ready to go, we can go ahead and find a control point. I've driven a nail with a feather in the ground right here. We're going to go ahead and set up on it. Um, a good rule of thumb when you're measuring the control points, if you can remember, is if you don't trust the bubble on your screen that it's perfectly accurate, every control point you hit face the same direction. Go ahead and level up over that control point right there. Make sure your rod height and everything is good. In SiteWorks, go to your me menu button, go down to measure control point. So right here in measure control point, as soon as you hit that, your screen's not gonna show anything right here until you either hit the plus button or the enter button, whatever data clip you're using, but hit the plus button, then it's gonna allow you to name it at this point. So right here, I'm gonna just call this the uh, North Complex um, Control. That'll help me keep that differentiated from the names of my control points that I did when I set the job site up. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, here's that last question it asked, just like when you're doing a site calibration. Bottom of quick release, if, you're, if you got it, 6.562 rod, and how long you want it to measure for. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Start, and it's going to give me a residual right there in the top corner. My e-bubble is off just a little bit. I haven't calibrated that for a little while, but I trust the bubble on my pole right here more at this point because I know I've calibrated that recently. As soon as we're done, you'll have an actual control point right there on the job site. You can come here and turn on point name if you need to see them. So North Complex right there. So let's go ahead and go add more of these in. So now that I get to my second point right here, I'm going to go ahead and level up as close as I can right over my feather here. We're going to go ahead. It's still in the mode right there. You can see where it says measure mode. We're going to hit plus again, and I can do this. Now it's going to give me a number one after the end of that. One thing I did want to show you is you only have the 15 characters in here, so, so you don't have it get too close. You can go ahead and take those gaps out in the middle. I didn't do that last time, but it'll be North Complex C number one. Go ahead and name it, hit start, and let it do its thing. These are control points that now I can use to set up a total station, either walking to it with my own pole, or I can set it up with these, uh, robot or these uh, back sites right here. Once we're done, you can go ahead and see we got another one. So let's go add one more in. 
So right here, I'm going to go ahead and set down on this control point. I'm going to face the same direction. Right now, I'm facing generally towards the sun. And we're going to go ahead and hit the plus button. And we're going to add in one more. This one will be number two because we had north complex, north complex one and two. So three total. We'll go ahead and measure this in and we're done. Okay, so we've got three control points in here now. So once you've shot all those control points in, just make sure that where you're actually going to set the total station up, if you know, you um, have the ability to see at least three of them. In the videos when I actually set the total station up off of those coming up, you'll see where you can get away with doing two control points, but you, if you have three, it's best to average it out. Um, if you need to set more control around, if it's a building, it's all line of sight, set as many as you need to cover your area. So, thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain on how to set up control points on your job site for a total station.